Hi, it's Josie and today's video is for Christine Irving. She said that she has a horse that when she canters tends to go really fast and then she can't stop it. So I just wanted to let you know that usually horses will canter fast because they don't have their balance. Green horses particularly will um, canter really fast because they can't find their balance and if you think about it when you're trying to if you're slipping on ice or you're feeling like you're slipping somewhere what happens you get a bit faster with your feet to try and find your balance. So a horse will do that they use their head and neck to help them balance particularly when they're green or they haven't been trained to go correctly because they use their head as a counterweight. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I deal with that. Rebel can be one of those horses who will, um, if I let him, will actually canter along and fall on his face and start to run. So let's see if we can show you how I deal with that. So there's two pieces of theory I'd like you to remember from this video. The canter improves the trot. So if you're cantering your horse and then come back to trot, you'll feel that his trot is better. But if you want to improve the canter, it's the trot canter transition that does it. So when the horse is losing his balance and running um, really fast, what will help that trot canter transitions? So when the horse is getting really fast, you've probably already missed your opportunity to actually slow him down in the canter and you'll need to come back to trot and then do another trot to canter transition. So what I will do if a horse is very unbalanced is trot, canter, trot. So I'll let him canter a few strides and then I come back to trot. And we will repeat that. I do want to point out here though, that is actually hard work for a young green unfit or a horse that's not used to doing them. That's quite a lot of deep knee bends. So I would do a few in the arena and then I would go off and perhaps do a little bit more trot work or some walk work. Then I'd come back and throw a few more of those transitions in. Um, and that is how you will help the horse that runs into the canter and you don't feel like you've got any control. So you need to do your trot to canter transition and then let the horse canter for a few strides and come back to trot. In your own head, set up how many strides you're going to allow the horse to canter and then you're gonna come back to trot. I'll see if Rebel and I can show you some of that. He hasn't done any canter, so his first few canters will be his warming up canter um, and he will probably want to rush off. First. So you'd really like to have quite a nice balanced trot, obviously, before you ask your horse to canter. This will be the first canter transition Rebel has done in this riding session. So we'll see how we go. One, two, three, four, five, trot. So he got heavier in my hand at the end there, so I'm going to do five canter strides and then we're going to trot again. One, two, three, four, five. You added a couple more, but it doesn't matter. Can you already see that that second time he was ready? Why? Because he was ready to come back. So he's not gonna go running off if he's waiting to come back. One, two, three, four, five. Good boy. Just get off my leg a bit, that's a boy. And canter. One, two, three, four, five. And trot. Whoops. That was his rider's error. We'll change the rein a bit. We'll go for a little trot. Steady. One, two, three, four, five. Trot. Good boy. Steady. Even in the trot there, he gets a little bit faster. So when you hear me say steady, I half halt him because he feels like he's losing his balance and wanting to trot in too fast a tempo. And canter, good boy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I asked him to come back to trot four strides before he did. 
decanter. One, two, three, half halt and trot. Better. Change the rein again. You don't have to do this on a circle, but if you have a horse that's going fast, giving them a whole long side allows them to speed up. He's actually listening to me today, so. But yeah, you would want to turn off of the track. Good boy. So if you're on the long side and you're going down the long side and they're getting faster and faster and you can't get your horse to come back to a trot, turn off and start to make a circle. Make the circle smaller and smaller if you can't get him to stop and realize that if that's happened, you've let him canter for far too long. You missed the opportunity. You missed the feeling he got when he started to lose his balance or when he started to stop listening to you. You as a rider need to be nicely switched on for your horse. You want him to be switched on to you. You need to be switched on to him. It's a two way street. One, two, three, four, trot. Good, steady, good, steady. Canter, one, two, three, four, trot. Now, I don't know if you could see there, but Rebel was definitely trying to do a dive. Good, that's better, good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Trot. A few more steps than I wanted. And anticipation. Don't tell them off. He's just trying to help. He's trying to do what I want him to do. Why would I be cross with my horse for offering me work. Come on. One, two, three, get ready and trot. Good boy. One, two, three, get ready and trot. Good boy. So now I've got a nice canter this way. He's waiting for me. He's listening, whoops, he's a bit crooked there. There you go. Listen, 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 listen. And whoa, good boy. So what do I want you to remember from that? The canter will improve the trot. The trot canter transition improves the canter. That is actually hard work for horses if they haven't done a lot of that work. So please don't drill it into them. Do a few each way each day and then build on it if your horse hasn't done that. If you have got a horse that's running in the canter, then you miss the opportunity. It's okay, we all do, but you miss the opportunity to um, bring him back to a trot as he was losing his balance. I really hope that helps you and I truly hope that helps your horse. Thanks for watching.